that's better. You can't have a good party without a lot of hard work. Remember that. Is the king really coming to the Shire? Indeed he is, so you'd all best be clean and presentable. <sighs> <laughs> That's true, all right. But King Alessar wouldn't mind a bit of honest dirt. Why, the first time I met him, he was the scruffiest looking fellow you ever laid eyes on. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he called King Alessar? Wasn't his name Aragorn? Alessar is what the elves call him. My gaffer used to say, you can't trust those who don't stick to one name. But Strider proved him wrong. Who's Strider? Aragorn, silly. Strider's what he called himself when he was disguised as a ranger. Well, that's not quite right. Didn't I ever tell you the whole story of Strider? No! no. <laughs> Come on, Dad, you have to tell us now, please! Hooray! Story! <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, I'll warn you all, it's a long one. Uh, we have a few hours while the stalls are set up. Years ago, before any of you were born, there used to be rangers patrolling the lands hereabouts. There weren't many of them, and they were a grim folk, but good-hearted. Their leader was known by the name of Strider, and he was a friend of Gandalf. One day, Gandalf told Strider to look out for a hobbit named Frodo, who would be traveling out of the Shire, carrying a precious burden. It was a grim, wet night in the village of Bree, and black riders were about, seeking the ring. Frodo decided that we should stay the night at the Inn of the Prancing Pony. The riders came for us in the night. But Strider had found us first, what are they? They are the Nazgul, ringwraiths, neither living nor dead. At all times, they feel the presence of the ring. Where are you taking us? To the house of Elrond. It would be a long journey to Rivendell. of nasty-looking ruffians attacked. Servants of Sauron, no doubt. Get him!
Those there. Where is he leading us? You there, Ranger! How do we know this Strider is a friend of Gandalf? With the Black Rider still at large, Strider wanted to leave town right away. And so, we hurried to the gates of Bree, not even stopping for breakfast. No sooner did the gatekeeper speak than a band of foul-smelling ruffians appeared. They weren't going to let us leave Bree without a fight. We left Bree and started out on the long road to Rivendell. Gentlemen, we do not stop till nightfall. What about breakfast?
The master wants them alive. Strider could tell from their tracks that Black Riders had passed this way recently. We had to get off the road before they returned. Get off the road! Quick! The Black Rider stopped right above us. Sniffing around like a hound following a rabbit scent. We all held our breath for fear of being heard, but finally it turned away. We'd escaped the Black Rider, but ahead of us lay a great swamp, and that held its own dangers. Swarms of hungry midges roamed the marsh, biting anything that strayed into them. 